So as we're sitting in here like this, boom, I'm keeping him away from here, boom, and this is immediately coming back up into my clear and my draw. You understand? Yeah. So that's setting up your soft control in your strikes, which like I said in the very beginning, that's going to require a greater level of skill because it's not just coming over here and coming here like we've done before. That's a good warm-up to what we're doing, but now you're doing it on a live person, on a live target who's resisting you, and I'm going to strike, boom, and immediately come back under with that vertical elbow and that shield. So, again, tying in the nature that this is both offensive and defensive. Offensive in the sense that I'm going to catch him under that chin, but defensive in the sense that, like we've done before, that elbow is not here. Mm -hmm. That elbow is here. I should be blocking him out so that I don't, I don't end up getting caught with anything, particularly because this hand, once this comes up, this hand is open. Right? It's going to be free to strike. So as we're sitting in here, elbow here, this comes immediately under, and then just like before, whenever I fire this elbow, it's boom and driving. Okay? Okay, so remember, if, I, if my elbow is up, mm -hmm. instead of pulling back, as soon as I pull back, pressure is off of him. Mm -hmm. So he, he has the opportunity to, to re-engage me. So as I'm here, it's better if I unfold and I start cutting the angle like Sean did, yeah. so that at least I keep pressure. So as we're sitting here, I've got pressure moving back, but instead of doing this to redirect, it's in that interim that you're going to close distance on me. Not to mention the fact, notice what's happening with my head and my shoulders. As I'm here, you're dropping your posture. I'm dropping my posture back. So it's here, here. Maintain contact the whole time if you're going to unfold into the arm. Okay. And try and time it to where when this is coming up, my shirt is coming clear. So this is going to come here, and then it's immediately coming to my shirt. Here, immediately to the shirt. Okay? okay. So from here, So that same process, like I come through here, like if we're going into that takedown version, so I need you to step hard, so I gotta pull hard. So I'm just gonna come here, boom. Now I can move straight into a takedown. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's the same process. I'm locking up, elbow up high. I'm blocking your reinsert. You know, so that you can't get underhooks on me. Mm -hmm. I'm grabbing in here. I'm pulling back hard. Boom, elbow. Or I'm pulling back hard. Once you take that step, your weight is moving this way. Mm -hmm. So this is coming into the head. And I get my throw. Okay. Okay. See how that's straight? Yeah. Boom. Pull. Opens up the inside. From here. I've got the head and arm mm -hmm. into the throw. Okay. So you're tying your strikes into your clinch. You're moving from that hard control into soft control into strikes. Now, where, what would be a time at which that we might do this? I want to keep standing. I mean, when I okay, I want to keep I, standing, but why would I want to keep standing? I don't know what's around me or people. How I many guys he's got? Or okay, um, so let's say you and I are in here. We're outside of a movie theater or something like that. You said that Star Wars Episode Seven and Eight were good, and I I know that they're I not. So we're fighting, right? So we're in this type of situation, and all of a sudden, Seth starts walking over. You know, he's like, hey, and he starts walking over like he's going to intervene in the fight. One thing I don't want to do is be tied up into a clinch when he gets over here. Right. So what I want to be able to do is, as I'm setting up in here, boom, I lock this up. I see Seth starting to come back into the equation. Boom, boom. And now, if I need to break from hard control to soft control, still in a standing fashion, then I can. 